Hello guys, so it's me, I'm back and today I'm going to show you the advantages and disadvantages of rooting your phone. Well, today there's a lot of advantages and a lot of disadvantages for rooting your phone. So let's start with the advantages first. Okay, and one advantage is it hacks it basically hacks your phone that's what rooting is and an advantage is let's say one that helped me so much is I removed all the stock apps like um this phone used to have something called social hub and it, it's basically a compilation of all your messages like from your Facebook message your text message, email messages, it compiles all of that. And there's also something called um, Talk. And it's basically like for your Google account. It's like Facebook for your Google account. And I didn't need those stuff. And yeah, that's good that you can remove stock apps. And one thing that I found out recently, just now, a while ago, is that when you root your phone and your phone is network locked that means it's locked to where you bought it like mm, it's locked to AT&T it's locked to Verizon and so on if you root your phone it it can unlock your phone so I just did that a while ago so now my phone is network unlocked I can use any sim card so it's not locked to the stock Samsung I mean it's not locked to the stock network which is Sun Cellular from the Philippines and that's kind of a big help for me so that's two advantages I think I'm not keeping count and one more thing is it gives you all this access to everything like mm, if you like playing games and downloading from from the Play Store so a lot of apps have ads well if you download an an app for that it requests for root access which you get when you root your phone you can your phone can now be ad free so there are no more ads but you suck a catch um, sometimes it doesn't work for me like I have a lot of apps before and I have an, an app to remove ads it doesn't really work that much because sometimes I still had ads but it works most of the time well that's good um what else is here and mm, yeah those are basically what I needed and since I don't really like the other ringtones that come with my phone I deleted most of it and just left one which is this ringtone the other ringtones are basically from my SD card and notification ringtone I only have one since that's my favorite you can delete all those stuff you can modify stuff you can even you can even you can even turn any app into a stock app for example um, Facebook here as you see Facebook is it has that minus symbol it means that it's not saved it means that if you reset your phone it will get removed well if you turn it into a stock app it won't get removed it's still there and that's a big plus and oh yeah this is also a good thing if you notice from my last video I was running Creed's ROM version 3.5 well now I'm still running it but um, last week I stopped using it because of the battery consumption well I tried with the stock ROM I played games then it, the battery only lasts for 4 hours and that's a big minus and on this ROM it's still 4 hours so they're, they're just close and that is also an advantage you can flash a ROM but 
I don't really think you need to root your phone to flash a custom ROM because when I soft bricked my phone so I had to put a new ROM on it the stock ROM I didn't even root my phone I just flashed it I just flashed a screen strong due through clockwork mod and it worked it worked perfectly it's just it's just the same and what I noticed when you when you customize your stock ROM and you delete all the other software you, that you don't want then you flash a custom ROM after that everything goes back it's basically like a package and there's a lot of features into rooting and that's those are the advantages so far I might be off topic sometimes like I might be talking about apps already or not about rooting anymore well it's just that that's what I kind of noticed and okay disadvantages the disadvantages are you void your warranty that's one you really really have to take note of that well since this phone it since it was released it doesn't even have a year yet so obviously the warranty is void since I soft break my phone I had to flash a, an original ROM which wasn't the really original ROM because it was an Indian version not the Filipino version so that's a big minus I forgot to back up I was a little bit too excited to customize my phone that I forgot to back up the stock ROM and that's just so sad uh, another disadvantage is when you do flash a ROM it takes up a lot of sp space like here I don't know if you can see it yeah you can't see it it's a little blurry but that's um, 90 megabytes out of 190 megabytes and when I had my stock ROM it only goes on to up to 50 50 was my maximum well I have to clear cache every single time here I think it was 70 75 wait let's check again uh, yeah 80 now it's 80 because I had other apps and yeah uh, another disadvantage of rooting your phone is probably bricking your phone like when you try to modify too much that you when you try to modify too much that you delete stuff that weren't supposed to be deleted you you do end up into breaking your phone and that's not good but you can always back it up before you do anything and you'll be fine one thing i liked about rooting my phone it's basically all the other features I get all all the stuff that helps me and it's absolutely more efficient except for the memory usage that that sucks okay well sorry if this video wasn't that good it's not really an advantage disadvantage well it is but I had to talk about other stuff so Hope you liked it and subscribe to my channel, comment on the comment section below, like, like this video.